Yeah, guys, I'm here with LCA Knights head coach Trev Falk after the big 38 to 21 win. Coach, we know that you all are going through a transition period right now, moving up to class 4A. So getting this win over a 5A powerhouse in Acadiana, what was that like for you? It's a big time win for us. Um, you know, a big, big game a season opener um, against what has kind of become a, a rival, a, a rival, so to speak. Um, those guys have done a tremendous job for a long time over there. We talked earlier in the week and you said in order to run away with this game and not just pull it off like last season, you all were going to have to execute early on. So jumping out to a 14-0 start, how big was that for you? That was huge for us. That was huge for us. And, and really, you know, it's it's never really in your mind to, to try to come out and, and really run away from these guys. The, the hope and the goal each week is just to have at least one more than opponent. Seeing some guys step up, Jawan just sharing the love with, uh, I mean, Dudley Jackson, Alonzo, and then you got Alex, who we're always familiar with, and TJ. What was that like for him, just finding guys open? It was a beautiful thing, beautiful thing, but really I have to start off by giving a lot of credit to our offensive line. Uh, they did a tremendous job of uh, protecting up front, of doing a good job of getting bodies in the run game, as well as giving them time to throw the ball down the field to the many weapons that we have. Unfortunately, that fumble in the first half, but your defense coming up with some big plays and some turnovers as well. Well, we, it was a complete game. We knew that it was going to take a, a complete effort to come away with this one tonight. Um, we had some big time punts that was able to flip the field for us as well. And lastly, Coach, uh, sending quick recovery for Miles, who was hurt there uh, later in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, you could tell it was, it got quickly emotional out here. You guys kind of hone each other up, some guys crying. But can you talk about the brotherhood of this team? My kids love each other. Uh, we love our kids. That's what makes being here and being a part of this special. And so to see my, one of my kids go down, for them to see one of their brothers go down, especially a kid who basically missed the entire season last year uh, with injury uh, and who has battled and, and competed and fought uh, so hard to get back and be able to compete out here tonight. It was heartbreaking for all of us. Uh, but, you know, uh, God has him and God will definitely heal him and, and he'll, he'll be fine. Absolutely, Coach. And we're hoping for, like I said, a quick healing and a quick recovery as well. Yeah, that was nice head coach Trev Falk talking to me about the 38 to 21 victory over Acadiana. These guys are now 1-0. But sending it back to you guys in the studio, Megan Glover, KTC Sports.